Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome, it's lovely to have you here. Now today I thought I would bring you a little handbag review and little is quite literal because it is rather a small handbag. It is the handbag that is currently residing in this dust bag of which is the Chloe Nile bracelet bag. Now, before I fully get started with this review, I would like to just say, full disclaimer, that this bag has indeed been gifted to me from Selfridges here in London. That said, I try not to let that fact influence my reviews, so I will be as honest as I possibly can, regardless of if something has been gifted or not. Now I know that the way things are done on YouTube is normally with a what's in my bag kind of review style video. I'm going to change that slightly for today. I'm going to go a little bit off piste and I'm actually just going to do a full on review of the bag. I'm not going to show you what's inside. I'm going to show you a few things that will fit and things that won't fit. Um, but I'm just going to go into real detail with the bag because sometimes with the what's in my bag video I feel that that's occasionally missing. So the bag. The basics, it costs £1,190, so 1,200 quid is what you're going to be paying for this bag. Now you'll notice that mine has got my initials on here, that is because it was a gift from Selfridges. These initials you can have put on, they are £35 per letter and you can have up to three letters on there and that is a service which is exclusive to Selfridges. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, I'll leave a link down below where you can find out more about getting your bag monogrammed. Now this is the small size Nile. I have the measurements here in case you need them. So it's a width of 7.7 .7 inches, height of 6.3 inches, and a depth of 2.6 inches. Now their measurements might not mean anything to you, but then again they might. But obviously you guys can see in comparison to me, a human being, the kind of size of the bag. Right, now let's go into more specifics of this bag. So the official Chloe colour that I have this bag in is Biscotti Beige. Now, on a few websites, the colour can look slightly different, but it is quite a nice, warm, almost with a slightly peachy shade. It is made from calf skin leather with a little touch of suede, which is just down here on the bottom panel of the bag. Inside the bag, it is refined suede, which I'm gonna just open it up. Something to note, it's a magnetic closure, but the closure, and I don't know if it's just on mine, but it's quite stiff. So you go, you can see inside of the bag is a refined suede in there. The hardware on this bag is brass, so it doesn't have that super shiny and dare I say it slightly tacky look to it. It does have a bit more of a matte finish. And very much like Gucci, Chloe have gone down the equestrian route with the hardware and some of the designs on their bags. So they're kind of, it's got that sort of horse bit vibe to it. And there's lots of very equestrian little touches around here. A lot of the hardware is also really similar to some of the Chloe bags from past. So the Faye bag, these are the exact same buckles which are also used on the Faye. In terms of branding, there are a few little points on here which display the brand name. So down here on the bottom, you have Chloe embossed in the leather right at the bottom of the flap. Now, if I lift up the little bracelet, there's also a tiny, tiny disc at the back. Why it's at the back, I'm not particularly sure, but that has Chloe engraved on there. And then also on the inside of the bag, there is also Chloe stamped and embossed, along with the serial number and all of the authenticity stuff residing with inside the bag. So it's quite subtle branding, but I think you'll all agree it's quite a statement bag. There's no denying that this is a Chloe bag. Now, the most important thing that I always look at when I'm deciding whether or not to buy a bag is of course the storage. So I'm gonna start with the outside of the bag. If we turn it over on the back, there is a flap pocket here. It's tight, it's quite a tight flap pocket. It's not the kind of pocket that you could fit your phone in. So I've got an iPhone X here. If I could slide that in, I mean, it fits like that, but it's not gonna be fully covered. It's also quite tight, so it's quite a push to get that in there. I also have 
my card holder. This is actually what I use the back flat pocket for. So in here I've got my Ulster card and my contactless cards. When I'm on London's public transport, I obviously need easy access to them. So I'm tapping in, tapping out. It is actually quite convenient to just slot this in that little back pocket. But if I just show you a side profile, it does make the bag then a little bit more bulky. So if you're gonna wear it as a crossbody, that's just something to be a little bit mindful of that essentially this back pocket is a bit redundant. You can't fit anything bulky in there, not really anything that's thicker than a couple of cards. Inside the bag, now it's a small bag, you can see that just from looking at it. Inside the bag, there's no bells and whistles. As I mentioned earlier, there's a suede lining. There is one open flap pocket, which I'm not sure if you can see in there, but I'm just gonna slide my hand in. That's actually described on the Chloe website as a phone pocket. Now I'm not sure what kind of phone they're referring to, but again, got my new iPhone X here. I'm gonna try that one and see if it will go in. Yeah, <laughs> not really the most functional of phone pockets and it 100% won't go in sideways either. Uh, if we upgrade to a bigger phone or rather downgrade because this is my iPhone 7 Plus, my old one, that really won't fit in. Now, will these phones fit into the main compartment of the bag is the question. Well, this is my new phone, iPhone X. That will fit in sideways and it will fit in and sit quite comfortably down towards the back or the front of the bag, which allows anything else to go in the rest of the bag. So that's fine. iPhone X is a good shout iPhone 7 Plus or any of the other Plus models, you actually have to slot in diagonally and it is it's a little bit of a push. So now that is sitting diagonally in the bag. So if you're gonna put anything else in there, it's just gonna require some really careful placement of whatever else you wanna put inside the bag. Sunglasses is another thing which I found to be quite an issue. Now I've got a couple of pairs here just as an example. My favorite sunglasses, which of course are the Ray-Ban round foldables. These fit into a teeny tiny little pouch. And to be honest with you, the majority of the time, if I'm not wearing my sunglasses, I'll pop them on my head or I'll stick them in my shirt or my sweater or whatever I'm wearing. So these, these are fine, these fit in there perfectly if you did want to take a case. However, if you're looking at just a more standard, I would say that's quite a standard sunglasses case, a pair of Ray-Bans or Celine's in this case, it just doesn't fit. It doesn't fit in sideways, doesn't fit in vertically, just doesn't fit. So if you wanted to take a pouch with you, a pair of sunglasses, just bear in mind that the, the case, the pouch, is not actually gonna fit inside the bag. So you're gonna have to keep the sunglasses either outside of the case or on your body somewhere at all times. Now, you can wear this bag in three ways. Number one, as a handbag. So with the little bracelet strap, which will also just quite easily slot on your wrist if you needed to be hands-free for grabbing a coffee or whatever. It does also come with a detachable shoulder strap, which is adjustable from 50 centimeters to 58 centimeters. So you can either wear it as a long shoulder strap bag or as a crossbody. And actually, I think this bag works really, really well as a crossbody. It's the perfect size, and that is the key to a crossbody bag. It needs to be small, needs to be compact, and it also needs to be relatively narrow because no one wants something bulky hanging off the front of their chest. So as a crossbody, this works so, so well. <laughs> of you are going to be asking the question is the strap comfortable to be honest with you it's a bit of a mute point because the bag is so small you couldn't really fit anything inside the contents of your bag is not really going to weigh down the bag so without any weight in there the strap although it's quite narrow, it's not really gonna dig in because you're not ever gonna gain any actual weight in the bag. And despite all this quite chunky gold hardware in there, the weight of the bag when it's empty 
is actually quite light so it's not a cumbersome bag starting off empty anyway um so i guess yeah the strap is comfortable because it's never really going to hold any sheer weight so what is the final verdict of the chloe nile bag well i'm going to be really honest with you this was actually on my list of bags to buy before selfridges approached me and kindly gifted me the bag but the question is would I now, having tried this for about four weeks, would I now actually buy this bag with my own money or would I advise it as a bag to buy? No, and also yes. Okay, so for me personally, no. Now that I've tried it, would I buy this bag with my own money? No, because I am a big bag girl. I have extra things to carry around with me. So I have a vlogging camera, which does not fit in here. I have loads of other bits and bobs and they just don't fit. I'm also a little bit irritated that my iPhone 7 Plus wouldn't fit in there because I actually had that phone before I got this bag. Um, but for those of you that love a crossbody, my friend Deb, she loves a crossbody. This would kind of be the perfect bag for her. If you're the kind of person that is very minimal with the crap that you carry in your bag. If you carry like very few items, we're talking card holder, no bulky wallets, a big bulky wallet, especially if it's one of those long envelope ones, it's not gonna fit in here. Very simple set of keys, a lippy or a lip balm, your phone, albeit a smaller model. If you're the sort of person that just carries those basic essentials around with you, yes a hundred percent this is a great bag the fact that it's a crossbody is amazing like it is the perfect crossbody bag it's very chic it's so stylish it's very of the moment but yeah i also feel like it's going to become quite a classic bag there's nothing on here that's particularly trend orientated and it does also have this gorgeous design element of this little bracelet if you wanted to carry it as something a little bit more fashion that said, for me, it's just not a practical bag. It's a little bit more style over substance. It's still a bag that I'm 100% gonna use because it is a very fashionable bag and it goes with so many of my outfits. I love the color. It's incredibly well made. I mean, that goes without saying. Chloe is just top of the mark when it comes to quality. It's just not practical enough for me to warrant spending that kind of money on. And there you have it. That is the Chloe Nile bracelet bag. That is my full review. I hope I've managed to answer any queries or questions that you might have had about this bag. If you're looking at buying the bag and you have any other questions, please do leave them down in the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. But thank you very much for joining me today and I will see you guys next time. Bye.